So y'all look, I gotta tell y'all something, like for real, for real. Now remember when I was telling y'all I, I caught a case last year um, as a felon in possession of a firearm and everything like that. Now check this out. This was this is the craziest thing about my case, right? And I'm still not letting it. It's still not processing through because it's something deep that I want to tell y'all. Like for those who try and get the passport and everything, right? So imagine. I'm a convicted felon, right? I got two felonies on my background, right? Now, remember I told you I got approved um, through my passport for purchasing a firearm, right? Now, when I caught the case, the craziest thing about it is the state said they couldn't prove I was a felon. So it's something called Uniform Con uh, Conviction Act, where in Illinois, um, all you have to do is request somebody background check and you can get their conviction uh, sent over to you. Now, the state of Florida took over six months to charge me with the case. Now, when they came back with the um, with, with the charges, it was only unlicensed and concealed of a, of a firearm, not felon in possession of a firearm. The crazy thing about it is they couldn't prove I was a felon because Illinois did not release those files to them. So it got me thinking, you know how many people from other states that catch cases like in fire, I mean, involving guns and they go to jail and the state can prove that they're a felon, but they couldn't prove I was a felon? Really? So when you think about this, you're like, hmm, why couldn't they request my 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 you know my criminal background? What happened? Like, did the, the Illinois froze my background? Did they not share it with them? Because if it was a if it was a, a problem with receiving my background, that case supposed to have been federal. The federal government over here in Orlando, near the Orlando District, Middle District of Florida, they were supposed to pick up that case because any case involving a felon in possession of a firearm is felt. I mean, it's federal. It is federal. So now that got me thinking that if they can't pull your background up, it's a lot of things that, that we really don't know about this process. And it's serious. And uh, I'm going to start showing y'all dockets and uh, my charges from when they first charged me until now, because right now it's no charges. I mean, it wasn't no charges. It was just unlicensed, uh, unlawful uh, carry of concealed firearm. It wasn't possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. This is the difference. If you was wanted to do a constitutional act to say you was lawfully carrying a firearm and you just didn't have a license, it was possible for acquittal. But I've seen a lot of people who had cases involving a felon in possession of a firearm and they all got found guilty. I don't know if it was by the grace of God. I don't know what it was. But that status change, that shit work. Like, for real, for real. And, um, you know, hit me up. You know, um, like, you know, people who, 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 who felons and everything like that. And I can share my experience with y'all. But this shit's crazy.